With every year that goes by, players have to be smarter and smarter at hiding chests. If you don't want all of your items stolen, you better get creative and quick. That's why today, you're going to show us 29 clever ways to hide your diamonds in Minecraft. I'm sure you won't have an issue. Besides, you stole all these diamonds anyway. So if you lose a few while testing some hiding spots, it won't matter so much. There's a lot of places to choose from, so you best get looking. Number 1. Let's start off easy. Create a sink with a lever as a tap. It's not actually a tap, though. It activates a piston that moves your crafting bench and reveals a secret chest. Players will have no idea. Number 2. This chest is empty. Or is it? Actually, the chest just appears empty. Another secret chest is hidden underneath. And by activating the hidden string, you can begin filling up your chest with the actual items and diamonds you've been storing out of sight. Number 3. Simple, but still clever. No other players can access your ender chest, and no one can destroy the contents. So having a set of two links somewhere in the world is always a good shout. Ender chests are also technically safe from x-ray hackers. While they can still be spotted, if destroyed, they will not drop the contents. And if opened, will only show the hacker's ender chest inventory. Number 4. This is for all you number files out there. Pressing F3 will open a menu that displays your coordinates. These are precise to the exact block you're standing on. Find a random block in the world, dig underneath it, and hide your chest. Make sure to mark down the coordinates somewhere that you won't forget. The odds of someone digging down directly in that spot are next to none, and only you will have those golden numbers. What are the odds that you're subscribed? Make sure to if you haven't already. Number 5. Not everyone is used to being able to crawl, let alone spotting areas that can only be reached by crawling. Place your chest somewhere in a cliffside and create a small entrance. The only way to reach this is to place a piston or trap door and push yourself into the crawling position. Number 6. Ever played Survival Island? It's a great way to challenge yourself in a limited area, but it's something people avoid in the regular survival. Finding a deserted island can be great, because most players will just pass it by and not think it's worth the effort. But little do they know, all the resources they'd ever need are hidden in a chest right there. All you need to do to reach it is to attach the Frostwalker enchantment, and you can walk right across the ocean to reach it. Number 7. Light levels are important in Minecraft. So important that Mojang are going to be releasing updates with tools to help players alter light levels in creative mode. For now, you can use the pitch darkness to hide your chests. I know, Sub. You can just light it up with torches, unless it's underwater, too. Go so deep that a player with night vision would need to see in the dark and water breathing to survive a dive that far. Even with X-ray hacks, it wouldn't be worth their time to swim down that far anyway, so they'll probably leave it alone. Number 8. Shulker boxes can hold items just as well as chests can, except with different colors. They can be easy to camouflage into various build pieces and scenery. You can also place coral on top of light shulker boxes to hide them underwater. Number 9. Where are you hiding your diamonds next, Sub? Wait, what? Where are those items going? Ah, I see. You're using a hopper in Minecraft. You can create your own looping minecart rail, which takes up any falling items through a block, depositing them in a chest at the side. To any noobs, it'll look like you're just dropping items into the floor. Since the hopper minecart isn't a chest, it also won't pop up on any X-ray hacker's radar. Number 10. 
You want some more slime sub? Sure thing! What about using a bounce pad to hide your diamonds? While most players will see a slime bounce pad and assume that they need a bounce forward, consider placing it so that you need to move backwards after the bounce instead, going through to a secret ledge that you otherwise wouldn't use. And there's your diamonds! Unnoticeable to anyone below and above. Number 11. Feeling a little more natural? The next one will require a fairly overgrown garden. Collect a lot of flowers and a lot of bone meal, and start planting them everywhere. Once you have enough, find one block of grass and replace it with a chest, placing a green carpet on top. The odds of a player even wandering into this huge maze of flowers is small, and the odds of them spotting the carpet are far smaller. Number 12. While people have their eyes on your most precious items, what if they could only access your diamonds by taking your least precious items? By hooking up a trap chest to hold dirt, and with a little bit of redstone wiring, you can make it so that your real chest will only appear if all the dirt blocks are removed from the chest. The last thing a thief would want to take. Number 13. More X-ray hackers invading your server? Why not forget chests altogether? Dispensers can hold up to 9 stacks of items, which is more than enough for all those diamond stacks. Since dispensers are considered a separate entity to chests, they won't be detected by x-rays, so you can keep them hidden just about anywhere. Number 14. Jungles are a dangerous biome. There's lots of high treetops and some winding wilderness. Traversing the place can be a pain, and most players tend to avoid it altogether. The last thing they'll be doing is taking their time and checking every nook and cranny. Using overgrown vines, sheared leaves, and other natural jungle blocks like bamboo and tall grass, you can create yourself a concealed and extra camouflaged area for your chest. Why not make it a green shulker box to blend in even more? Number 15. What about somewhere less far from home? What about in your home? There's still plenty of hiding spots we haven't discussed. Camping fires are great for chimneys and fireplaces, but you can also use that chimney as another compact hidden location for your valuable chest. Number 16. Still worried about those hackers? Why not grab yourself a mule? It can carry items in its chests and travel with you on your journey. This is another entity replacement for chests, as anyone with an x-ray won't be looking to search mobs for diamonds. Number 17. How about a key? That works in real life after all. Have a redstone system filter items and detect one for a specific name. Add a name tag to that item, and it's now your key. Just make sure not to die, or someone might figure it out. Number 18. Redstone machinery can be complex to look at. You can lose your mind just by staring at it. Or at least you are, right, Sub? But if that's the case, then no thief or griefer will be stopping to play around and understand all of your systems. Least of all will they look into the tiny gaps in between extended pistons where you've hidden your chests. But remember, these are only visible when the piston is extended. Nineteen. A newer, cuter mob is in the game. But I bet you didn't think a fox could help you outfox an x-ray hacker, did you? Well, it might take up almost every fox on the server, but if you've got a lot of diamonds, it might be worth it. Store up all of your foxes, give them the diamonds, and then hide them in various pockets around the world. They won't show up on the x-rays, and you can grab one or two diamonds every time you visit your furry pets. Number 20. Pushing boundaries again, I see. Well, perhaps that might be a good idea. The height limit is so far up that only players with a high render distance are ever going to spot you and whatever else you have with you. Perhaps use this to your advantage. If you know a few players who are scared of heights or run the game on a low-end device, consider throwing your chest at the tip-top of their world. They probably won't be bothered to stack up to it even if they did spot it. 
number 21. From the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, we're going right down to the bottom of the world. Bedrock. Down here, bedrock forms in all sorts of weird and random patterns. But because of this, players tend to avoid the bottom levels, leaving all of those secret spaces free for you to utilize. Find a one-block gap and throw a chest there. Number 22. While bedrock is low, perhaps we can get lower. What about putting your chest so far out of the way that it was hidden in a completely different dimension? Let's head to the end. You'll need to have already conquered the end city for this one, as it requires an elytra. From the spawn platform, glide down below the island and add a small area for a chest. No players ever fly down to these parts, as it usually means certain death. But now you know otherwise. Number 23. Back to your house again. Why not put some banners to use? No one's going to go to the effort of checking behind every one, surely. Covering your chest with item frames and banners or hiding it within a wall may be just enough to avert the eager eyes of a newbie trespasser. Number 24. Fake outs are one of your favorite methods of getting people, right, Sub? Lure them into a false sense of security or happiness, then rip it away. Ah! This player thinks he's smart and found a secret chest underneath Sub's enchantment table. Much to his sadness, it's empty. Something's not right here. A trick? He's found a second chest. The real chest. Oh, just iron. Meh. But what they don't realize is that this is a triple fake out. And a third chest sitting way underneath that holds all your diamonds. Number 25. A lot of people will forget the amount of blocks that can trigger redstone. Not you, though. Cauldrons use water levels to trigger a pulse. And dirty thieves don't wash their hands. So I'm sure they won't be using the water. Unlike you, Sub, you're squeaky clean. You've never stolen anything. Not even a prank. Nope. <clears throat> nope. Number 26. Those x-ray hackers can be so annoying. They can find any chests anywhere. So what if we give them something they want? Chests. Chests and chests. A hundred. A thousand. With all of these, it won't matter if the hacker finds you. They aren't going to be searching through all of them. And besides, even if they do, they won't find anything. You've gone to the effort of hiding a little stone button in the corner of the room. What a troll. Number 27. Back on the topic of other dimensions, what about the nether? Lava is a lot of players' biggest fear. No one likes burning to death, especially with the risk of losing all of your items. Grab some buckets, scoop up some of the lake, and place your chest. Cover it back up. It's like nothing was ever there. People aren't going to be clicking every lava block. And as long as you remember your location, your diamonds will be protected in the hellfires forever. Number 28. Not all mobs are hostile. Some friendly beasts can actually be really helpful in protecting your goods. Take sheep, for example, plodding along, looking all innocent. Bah. Why not reverse wire your secret chest compartment so that it only opens when the pressure plates are not activated? Meaning this sheep will constantly be hiding your goods until you either do the dirty or fish it up. Number 29. The next helpful critter is a chicken. Nice egg you have there, Sub. But how will it aid you in hiding your diamonds? To the untrained eye, this looks like an ordinary flow of water. But just hatch a chicken, and it'll slowly flow onto the pressure plate, revealing your final secret chest of the day. 